Hey guys, it's Charlie from Chinook Homskis, and you get as I never stop doing that. Right, it's time to do our weekly update on our Homsky puppies, and um, our puppies are four weeks old now. If you guys are new to following us, these are our um, Disney dogs. So we are at, we are in Calgary and we're an in-home breeder of Pomsky puppies and occasionally pesky puppies. And we currently have a litter of Pomsky puppies. So these guys are, um, they are four weeks old today and they are, their mom is Frost and their dad is Arrow. So they are, um, their mom Frost is 75% Husky and 25% um, Pomeranian. So these guys, and then their dad is a 50-50 or an F1. So these guys are like 63% Husky, it's okay, and 37% um, um, Pomeranian. So they're slightly more Husky than, than Pom. Um, that being said, in lots of ways, it doesn't make a big difference um, when it's that small of a difference. When they're 75% Husky or Pom, we can see quite a size difference or um, some other factors come into play more, but when they're this close, they're essentially like F2 puppies, just like, um, I mean, they are F2 puppies, but they're like any other F2, that'd be like a 50-50. So these guys are all very feet, as you can see now, they're very active. Um, and we're downstairs on the main level, so they have sort of outgrown the walking box, although they still sleep there at night. Um, and they like to explore the world and to see everything and to do everything. They're, especially with a litter this big, not that the litter's huge, but with a litter of seven, um, they definitely are excited to have the extra space. Hello, hi. So they're all, as you can see, very cute and, and growing so quickly. Um, so I will talk about each one. And then for those who are on our waiting list, you can watch because I will send out an email Hello for Husky. This is mom right here. You can see how pretty she is. And on the skinny side these days, this is the time when the puppies probably have the most um, draw on mom. They are eating solid food, but not a ton yet. And Frost, come here. If you want to lay down and feed them, come here. Frost, come. Come here. Yeah, come sit. Sit down. Sit down. Do you want to feed them? Sit down. Sit down. Good girl. Um, if you want to lay down. I know, now you backed yourself from the corner here. Um, but anyhow, so they have the most caloric sort of draw on mom at this age because they are, you know, getting kind of big and not, um, they're not eating a ton of food yet, but still some, and then they are still nursing quite a bit. So they always tease at our moms at this age. They lose all their baby weight, not that they were ever carrying that much. Right, Frost? Huh? And so she eats like three times more than she would an average day and uh, at least three times more because we usually add in some other uh, treats and things too. We lay sideways. There you go. Yeah. Here, move my leg. Here. Um, but she, yes. Here, I'll keep cutting you. I'm not going to stop. Uh -huh. Brush is all about the attention. It's a lot warmer on the main level than it is in our room, huh? So Frost is ready to go back upstairs to hang out where it's a little bit cooler. Yeah, you can clean them after. Okay. Get them nurse. Now it's much harder for them to all nurse at once because they're getting big, even though they all can. Um, so these puppies, we, for those of you who are new to following us, I'll just talk quickly about how our process works, why they're eating here. Um, we um, work off a waiting list, and so the people on our waiting list get first priority. And typically it can take anywhere from four months um, to up to a year to get a puppy from us. It depends on a lot of factors, like how many litters we've had, um, or how many litters we've had, how big the litters are, and then what you're looking for. Like if you're looking for a girl puppy that's this color, that's this size, wow. to get all those things lined at once can take a while. Um, or if you, if you say you want a girl puppy and you're not too picky on these other factors, you know, you're going to have a puppy right away. So part of it depends on uh, what you're all looking for, and then part of it is just um, also um, what we have born and everything else. So yes, I know you don't want to ever to come over when you're nursing. Yeah. 
So for us, this is the first day that she's been down here for quite a long time. We get them, we bring them down a few times before to get used to it. But the puppies have met all of the dogs now, and they spent quite a long time down here today. And we'll spend more and more time down here um, as they as they grow. So this is just sort of the same area that our family lives. Now it's sort of almost just like they're just one of our dogs. They get used to real life. We start potty training them now. Um, we did a little bit before too, but they get used to, um, we have like a blanket sort of like this here or a sheet, you know, sort of in the area where they sleep. And then we have reusable potty pads that we put just outside of where they sleep. And then we move them closer and closer to our back door. And by the time they go home, they usually are potting outside about 80% of the time. Some of the puppies maybe even more than that, some a little less, depending on a few factors. So it's the smaller puppies, it's harder for them to get in and out. Um, with the bigger puppies, they can do it no problem. So, um, but yeah, and they get used to things. They do crate training. That they once they're weaned, we start um, teaching them to sleep through the night. So they go to bed about ten o'clock at night, and they get up about six. Um, so our puppies are usually off sleeping through the night before they go home. Um, just things like that that make it a little bit easier on them to be in a new home with a new family. Because we think those things are important. And make it a little bit easier for the families to have a new puppy come home. Because um, it's, you know, it's sort of like having a new baby. Not that there's much work but um, as a baby, but it's sort of the same idea where they're quite young and they're still figuring things out. So. so we try to do everything we can to make it as easy on our new families as well as on the puppies. So and then I'll set, there's some information I'll put up after about how to get on our waiting list for anyone who's interested. So, um, these puppies, we'll see how their sizing is in a week from now when they're eating more solid food because they're trying to be a touch smaller than I expected. Right now, none of them are trying to be over 20 pounds. Um, so, when Frosty here is about 30 pounds and Arrow is about 28 pounds, so I thought we'd get a few that were close to 25, so we'll see. But um, at three weeks, they were turning to be a little bigger than this, so it could just be because they're... It could be to the time that we weighed them and things like that. There's a few factors to it, so... Um, but we'll see um, how it is. So, I'll start anyway. This one here is Tramp. So, he was the one that was born first, and then there's Pluto over here. Tramp wears on a gray collar, because he's gray, like Tramp. I'm ready to Tramp. Uh, Pluto here wears a green collar, so Pluto often wears a green collar, although well, he wears a couple different colors, but that's why he wears that. Hello, Pluto. Should we do you first? Huh? This is Pluto. Mm -hmm. He's very cute. He's very playful. He likes to explore, and he loves to come see us. Yes. Mm-hmm. He's very handsome. So he's starting to be um, about 14 to 17 pounds right now. You can see he's got this beautiful coat. So his dark parts will get darker, or will stay dark, and his lighter parts will get lighter, so that mask will come in more. He'll look a lot like Frost. His markings will look a lot like Frost. He doesn't have quite as much white on him. He's got a little more tan in his coat, where she's more gray, but he'll look very similar to his mom. Um, Pluto has brown eyes, and I think he'll have a plush coat. Um, so their coats, it's still just barely starting to tell what kind of coats they'll have. Um, so a few of them I think they'll have plush or woolly, but I can't tell for sure. Here, Tramp, come here. I mean, um, yeah, Tramp, come here. Come here, Tramp, come here, like this. Hi, Frosty. Tramp, like this. Hi, buddy. Yeah, good boy. Ooh, uh, come here. So this is our handsome Tramp. He'll look almost identical to Mom. He looks so much like his mom. Um, and he's very handsome as well. He's currently the biggest now. So, and he's trying to be about 15 to 18 pounds, and so we'll see um, how that is a week from now, even. So, he also has two brown eyes, and he wears a gray color, and I think he'll have a plush coat. So, it's a really thick coat, but it may not be long like um, Frost's is. So, we'll have to tell that a little bit better. Um, yeah, as they get a little bit older here. But he'll definitely have a very nice thick coat. So a plush coat means it's a more thick. A standard coat is sort of like, um, I don't know, not quite as thick as some of the other dogs. Um, so, and I think two of them will have 
standard coats. Maybe next time I'll bring in our other husky so you guys can sort of see the difference. But it is sort of hard to see on camera anyway. Gosh, just jealous of the microphone. Oh, of course it was. Um, so the next one born is Mr. Pongo. And this is him. So Pongo has the longest coat. I don't know if you guys can tell that so much in the video, but like his tail like looks so much bigger than the others. But it's all fluff. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he wears a flat collar, although good luck seeing it with all of his fluff. He's also one of the most outgoing. He's very cute and lots of fun. He's starting to be between 12 to 15 pounds, and he also has brown eyes. So all the puppies' eyes are still kind of blue, so I could be a little bit wrong, but um, based on what we're seeing, his eyes will be brown. Um, and he's very cute. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and then Lady. Come here, Miss Lady. She was the next one born. She wears a pink collar. So she's one of those that has a standard coat. Um, so you can tell that she, like, her tail just isn't quite as fluffy. Um, but it has a cute little, um, a cute little tail, huh? And she's got lots of white on her tummy and on her paws. And then her eyebrows will come in. So she'll look a lot like um, a lot of other dogs we've had before. She'll have a really nice mask. Um, sort of like a superhero mask. In fact, um, one of our puppy parents has a dog that looks a lot like her, and they were walking this week, and a little girl saw them and said, ooh, a Halloween dog, because they have, like, a nice mask to them. Um, and as these eyebrows come in more and darker, it's white above their eyes and white below and then dark throughout. So she's very cute and very sweet. She's one of the other ones who's more... Outgoing, they're all sort of starting to become more outgoing and more playful, right? Hello. This here is Miss Penny. She wears a purple collar, and she um, is also going to have a plush coat. She also has two brown eyes. Or Lady, um, the one I just had, she, there's a chance that she is going to have one of her eyes that has a small blue chip in it, so I'll keep watching that. But she might have um, what's called party eyes, where part of one eye is a different color, which should be blue, versus the brown I think most of her eyes are going to be. So and this is um, Penny, and she's going to have two brown eyes. And Penny is charting to be about 14 to 17 pounds. Yes, and she looks very tan right now, but this will all turn silver. And so you can see she's got this dark stripe, and she'll be silver. She'll look a lot like our husky Chinook. Um, and so she will be very pretty. Yes, mm -hmm. you have nice markings, just like your dad. Mm -hmm. So they, um, yes. And she's also in the more adventurous ones. Even though she's smaller, she's the first one to learn how to climb out of the walking box. Um, and she was happy to come and explore the world, weren't you? Um, Xander, do you want to come around through here and come grab Stitch for me? I can't reach him. Be careful because there's a key right there. Oh, someone missed the blanket. Thank you. Which is good. We don't really want to pee on the blanket. We want to pee off the blanket, but I haven't cleaned it yet, obviously, because I don't. Thank you. Yes. This is Mr. Stitch. Okay, now get out of the way. Thank you, my love. Mm -hmm. So this is Mr. Stitch. He wears a blue collar. Again, good luck seeing it. These guys are fluffy. Um, and he also has a plush coat, we believe. Um, and he also is very handsome. He looks a lot like um, Lady. And he will, I mean a lot like Penny. He looks similar. He's got more black in his coat here. And so it'll be interesting to see how his um, coat comes in. But I think he'll look a lot like um, his mom as well in terms of his coat coloring. Um, he has sort of a gray and black um, going on. Yes, very handsome. So, but he has two brown eyes and he is charting to be 14 to 17 pounds is sort of what we're looking at with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then our last puppy um, is Miss Purdy. So, she's also a piebald. So, and she will have, I know you want to go play. So, she has, she's the only one that has two blue eyes. I don't know if you guys can see. The downside of being this far back is that it's hard to see the camera. Yes, I know. And you're like, why are you holding me up? I want to go play. So, and she has um, these beautiful markings, and they also have more color to them. So they'll be almost more gray or more tan. She's not nearly, like, so black and white. 
Um, and I have some pictures which I'll post maybe this week. And so to show how these puppies will change. We've never had Pamela before, so I don't have other puppies to look to show you. But um, a good friend of mine is a breeder in the UK has, and she has some puppies that look very similar. So I will post some pictures with them so you guys can sort of see what I have to look like growing up. Um, but she's gorgeous, and we love all the color that's coming into her markings. Yes. And she's loving exploring and playing, too. She is the smallest, starting to be about 11 to 14 pounds. And uh, yeah, my parents were here the other day, and my dad was holding Penny, I believe. He was saying, oh, look, there's blue. She's going to have blue eyes, because you can still see blue in all of their eyes. And I was like, oh, let me show you Purdy. So I picked up Purdy, and I said, see, no, this is blue, because her eyes are so much bluer. Do you want to come grab her? Just hold her closer to the camera for a second. Face is covered by that thing. Shouldn't have moved the light and you could see it. Can you tell? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, so you can see that her eyes are a lot more blue and then pick up any other puppy and show the difference. So you can see that even though she has blue in her eyes, they are much darker. So they'll go brown. It's actually interesting. Um, again, you can't see it great probably on camera, but if you actually can see them, they um, they sort of change from the inside out. So it's very cool. So and Purdy, um, she will also have a standard coat. She won't be quite as um, her coat won't be quite as thick. So a little bit uh, lower maintenance, usually a little bit easier to take care of than a plush coat or a woolly coat. That being said, they're all easier than like the Pomeranian coat, which takes a little more work. Um, so, but we're very excited about, about these guys, because they're so cute and fluffy. But my mom watched Frost for us for a week, um, back when she had one of her first heats, so she wasn't old enough to breed yet, but they, um, you know, go through her heat cycles, we didn't want, um, Arrow to, you know, or one of the other dogs to, to, to breed with her, so my mom watched her for a week. And she has these little boys on her street, and they kept being like, Jane, Jane, do you have a wolf dog? Did you get a wolf dog? Um, because she, people think she looks like a wolf with that coat and with her coloring. And uh, we laugh because there's signs around um, our community um, that to beware of coyotes. There's a few areas that the coyotes are known to frequent. And uh, the picture on those signs is of a coyote, a very beautiful looking coyote. But anyhow, we tease because it looks like frost. So we always tease if she gets out, some will think she's the world's friendliest coyote. Um, but she never, she never, um, she's actually not really one of our runners. In fact, when we had her, she would, um, she never wanders far. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'll see if I can. Oh, these guys are still so sleeping cattle together. I don't know if you guys can tell when I hold them up together, if I turn them around, how fluffy one is going to be the other. Mm -hmm. Let me just show it all. I know. Is that little comfortable baby cat? Mm -hmm. So, because he's got the fluffiest coat and she has less fluffy. So, and we'll continue to watch that because from now on our coats will just sort of get fluffier, the ones that are woolly, versus the ones that are not. Um, so you guys can keep sort of watching for that and you can continue to, um, yeah, we'll continue to post videos and uh, pictures of the puppies as they grow, which we of course always do. Um, also for those who are wanting to know how to get onto our waiting list, there's information there. So um, our email address is info at chinookpomsky.com and if you send us an email, that's sort of the first step and we'll send you the the puppy application, which is quite simple, it's not a in-depth one, and then we do phone interviews later, um, a couple of them to sort of go forward from there, but just sort of give you an idea of what we want, because if someone were to ask for something we don't have, then I'll let them know, um, and we don't sell, currently we only sell puppies in Canada, um, just because it's the easiest based on shipping and getting them there safely, and a few other things. Stormy, shh. I was raised her stormy singing, she wants to come in. I would be thought it would be easier because they're very popular. All of my dogs just sort of sit kind of close to the dogs but a little bit far away and wait for them to come near them. They're pretty respectful and give them lots of room. 
Um, it's a little overwhelming, I think, for them on the first day down here, but they've done really well. All the dogs have, and all the puppies have. And um, so they. Uh, do you want to go tell the store maybe quiet and watch? Mm -hmm. um, but they. Um, but they really like it. In fact, Chinook was the first one we let in. Chinook loves babies and is so good with them. And uh, Penny right, ran right out to go meet Chinook. And Chinook was like, oh, there's puppies down here. Because um, we just put them all in the backyard real quick, brought the puppies down, and then let the dogs in one at a time. And uh, Chinook was like, oh, there's, there's puppies in here. And then she was so excited, she just laid there and waited and played with them. Um, so again, also our website is on there, which is chinookprophecy.com. There's more information on there as well, or pictures, things like that you guys can check out. Um, and of course, you can follow us um, on Facebook. We have our Facebook page. Um, hopefully that will stay. I know Facebook has changed its policies where we're not allowed to actively sell dogs on Facebook. We never really have any makes. We do it all through our waiting list. Um, but I know I've had a few friends who have breeder pages that are... Uh, they get put in Facebook jail. So if that is to happen, it's good for you to know. You can follow us either on our website, um, on Instagram, or on YouTube. We also post all of these videos on our YouTube channel, which I have to say I haven't been great about posting there prior to, but for this litter and that's going far forward, we will be posting more regularly on YouTube. Um, Instagram we also post on basically every day as well. Um, and email is always the best way to get a hold of us. It's the easiest way. So if you guys have any questions about these puppies, you can always comment um, on the video, and I'll watch the, the threads below, and I can um, comment back on them. Um, so you don't miss videos, feel free to either like and subscribe, or else you can follow us and like us on Facebook um, or on YouTube. And... Um, you can, yeah, like I said, if you guys have questions about puppies, um, puppies in general, this litter, or anything else, feel free to comment on it, and we'll happily um, do all of that, and we'll see you guys again next week. We do our next uh, five-week video update on these guys.